Hey everyone, it's Cameron back with another uh, sales update video. Been a little while since I did one, been busy with life. I uh, still have been selling stuff on eBay, but I figured I'd go ahead and make one. This one is actually starting from the 21st of June through the 27th, so I am a week behind. I'll get the other one out too, so I can hopefully get it caught up before this week ends. And I'm back again behind too. Um, during the course of the past couple weeks, I did manage to get my 1,000 feedback, so that was kind of cool. You know, some people have way more than that, but to be at 1,000, still have 100%. Knock on wood, is pretty awesome, so I was happy about that. A slower week this week, not a ton of sales. I think uh, 16 or something like that. But still pretty good for the month of June. Definitely was blessed. I can't really complain too much, and so we'll just jump right in. Um... I don't know the totals on this one for what sold because we are a week behind and I feel like doing the math, so you have to bear with me. This was a food processor, um, Ninja Blades. Um, they were unused. Actually, originally there was some cardboard in there, but I accidentally kind of damaged it when I was trying to take the blades out for the pictures. But um, one of them still had the insert in it, so I listed them as new in the open box. Um, paid 50 cents at a garage sale. The lady cleaned out a house, happened to find these in there. Sold them for 50 cents. I sold them for 30 bucks, and they ship locally to um, uh, San Diego. So they ended up costing like six dollars to ship or whatever it was. So 50 cents into 30 dollars with free shipping is pretty good. That was on a best offer. Here's another set of those um, math homeschool books. Sold the previous ones, I think, for 28 or 30 or something like that. 30. I got 27 for this one. I was happy with that. I paid 10 for the whole lot, including other things. Already got 30 for the first lot. Here's 27 for this one. Plus, there was some wear at the corner. The lady said she didn't have much money and was trying to um, get these as cheap as possible. So I, I accepted the offer, offer of 27. I was cool with that. Um, shipped media mail for a couple dollars, so definitely a good buy there. Here's something I had listed like and it sold within a couple of days. I had paid a dollar ninety nine, I think, at the thrift store for this, um, at Sabres. It was missing two of its discs. Uh, I think it had eighteen in total. Uh the spring did work. I sold it for fifteen bucks. Not a huge profit. Uh, maybe seven or eight dollars, but sold in a couple of days, so that's pretty cool. Um had these for a long time. Picked these up in a lot of stuff. I paid twenty bucks for everything, so maybe had five dollars invested in these if that. Um, I had them listed at $39.99 or best offer, and people kept offering me $25 or $20 or um, $27, I think, and they're pretty heavy. They were going to cost a little bit to ship, at least the medium flat rate, so I wanted to get more like $35 for them, maybe $30 at the worst, um, and I ended up declining an offer, and I think the next day, I have like $25, and someone paid full price the next day, um, so that was cool. got $40. Bucks. They did ship media flat. Uh, medium flat rate, um, so still made pretty good money for a five dollar investment. These are ones that you definitely have to kind of stockpile if you want to make any money on them. I think there's some individual ones that may be a little more rare, but really you want to just get a whole bunch from for really cheap and then lot them together. Here's a video game. I uh, sold it for seven dollars. Um, pretty good. I think I just had this in a lot of stuff I had bought. Made a few dollars off it. I like selling video game stuff. It costs you know two dollars and four cents to ship it. After fees, it's probably um, three dollars and some change that I'm really gonna make. But it was just lying around. Someone's happy. I think I got good feedback on it as well. And like I said, I like selling video game stuff even if I just make a few dollars. Another video game, Tales of Symphonia. This is one to look out for if you're um, looking at video games. Bought it for twenty-five. Uh, with free shipping, I paid 10 for a whole bunch of games. Already sold one for I think 15 or 20. Um, now I got 25 for this one, so well in the profits, and it ships first class. Here's something um, to look out for. Um, this is the laser tag uh, by Tiger Electronics. This is actually the shotgun piece on the blue gun. Uh, the blue gun's called the Phoenix. Not the blue. They have the Phoenix in a different color, but this one happened to be the blue one. I think there's an orange one as well. Um, there's a couple of different variations of the same laser tag set, so all of them are worth looking out for. If you're not, uh, if you see these, you should definitely pick them up. Usually you can get them for super cheap, and they always seem to sell pretty well. Um, I had a broken gun. It didn't have the battery pack in there um, to install the batteries, 
I paid two dollars for it, so I took off the shotgun piece and the uh, scope you're going to see in the next um, listing, and I sold the this one for twenty five bucks with free shipping, and sold this uh, little scope here for twenty bucks with free shipping. The same person bought them both. Unfortunately, he bought them both within a couple of days of each other, so I'd already shipped one before he asked for the second one. I was like, if he would have bought it earlier, I could have saved on shipping because it wouldn't have cost anything really more to add it to the first one. But um, that's all right. Still happy to turn two dollars into forty-five, and after fees, it'll be less than that. But pretty good, especially since the gun ended up being broken or unusable. Um, with Nerf guns or these laser tag guns, and I said this before, accessories or additions to the guns may be worth more than the guns themselves. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I think Nerf gun scopes are going for 20 or 25 a piece, and sometimes you can only get, you know, 40 or something for the whole gun, and that's going to cost more to ship. So be on the lookout for that. You can always piece stuff out, uh, but happy to move both of those. I bought these, I had these in my last haul video prior to this week that they sold. Paid $3 for the whole lot. They were all in great shape, no markings or anything. Um, sold them for 25 bucks, free shipping within a day. Um, I think I even got good feedback on them too, so I was happy about that. You know, made over ten dollars in profit within a day for selling the books. I always love book lots; they sell well. They're easy, they're cheap to ship, easy to list, and um, you know, usually can get books for pretty cheap. So some of them, if someone has a lot of one particular author or type of book, especially kids stuff, um, definitely look for it or some kind of sci-fi or. And if you look it up and see if it might be worth something, if you can get it for cheap, go for it. Um, listing is a horrible picture that I took, but um, this ended up selling for $18.99. Uh, the, game, the Game Boy worked great, no battery cover, um, but the sound was broken inside the game. Um, it, it made like a weird humming type noise while it was being played, so it's still usable if you just leave the sound off, or maybe you can fix the speaker system. I listed it as such. I wasn't sure if I'd get the 19 bucks for each, for this one, but I did. I have another one listed as well that also sold for 19 with the same exact color and the same exact issue. So I probably had a couple bucks invested in this, so even a broken one is still worth picking up, or a, a, one with sound issues. I do know that usually broken ones sell, especially in lofts. I think you can get 10 bucks a piece. So good to know in case you buy one that does happen to be broken. Here's a Wii game. Um, it's Wii Pikmin uh, with the new Wii control. Um, this was in a lot of stuff I bought. I think 20 bucks for everything, um, so maybe five in this. Um, sold it for $28 with free shipping. Had these for a while listed. They're Nerf Dart uh, Tag Glasses. Four different pairs. I may have a couple bucks invested in all of them. Um, and sold them for 20 bucks. Uh, with free shipping, they shipped first class, so that was pretty easy. Um, I think next time what I'd probably do is set them up as fifteen dollars for a pair uh, with free shipping and try to sell them that way. I think I maybe I'll squeeze a couple more dollars out. Uh, Microsoft Money Deluxe. Again, this is not the greatest picture. The lighting wasn't really good, and I guess I was being lazy when I listed it, but it didn't affect the buyer at all because they still paid fifteen bucks for this. I probably had. Two dollars in in this, and I ended up selling it for fifteen with free shipping. So not a ton of money, but ship first class, easy sale. And the final sale of the week on Sunday. Um, this was pretty cool. It's a Toy Story Woody talking Magic Eight Ball. It was in the box. I'm not sure if it, were, if it was ever taken out. Um, it did work. The pull string on, and it would um, basically say Magic Eight Ball quotes with Woody's voice or his lingo. I took a best offer of twenty three on this. I had paid two dollars at a thrift store plus tax. Um, it shipped first class, so 23 bucks was a no-brainer. Happy to get rid of it. Box was really beat up, um, but they already got it and said fast shipping, and we're happy with it. So um, good feedback. So nothing wrong with that. But that's pretty much it um, for this week. That is it. There's nothing else to show you. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the delay in the video. I do want to do the other haul, uh, haul video from this past Saturday. It was July 4th. I did get a couple of things um, that were worth. Uh, noting one already sold um, and I'll have to show that one um, I listed it already because I wanted to get rid of it and it sold within a day and then um, other th other things are listed so I'll get a picture of those um, that I don't have with me at the house um, but I also want to do the other sales update video from the past week had another good week I want to show you guys those things uh, thanks for wa watching please like comment and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions take care